The energy of June is going to be much easier for your system, your whole being to meet rather than that really intense energy of May. I hope that you did well during May and I'm excited to share with you understanding so that you can really make sense of what's around you all of this June and also how best to align your energy field, your whole being to this amazing June energy. My name is Prune Harris and in this video I really want to concentrate on an exercise or a series, a sequence, that you can actually do every day during this month of June so that, wow, you can really take the potential from it. It's a really fascinating month. I've written a lot about the energy of this June in my energy forecast blog, which is on my website, pruneharris.com. Please do read it. It will really help you understand more of what's around, where the pressures are in your system and where the gifts or the potential is in this cosmic energy this month. Because of course, we've got the solstice right towards the middle or latter part of the month as well. So we're holding this really interesting duality the vibration is a light blue and it moves between that light blue of the sky or rather a wind coming through that sky blue. There's a lot of movement this month so it holds that on one hand and on the other it's more like the blue of a steel. Think of a steel sword of precision that's really going to be inviting you and pushing you to deal with some of those old patterns, help them cut away still. So in this video, we're going to concentrate on ways that you can really help empower your system, help you feel brave and courageous as you take that step away from May and really move into the big potential of June. In my second video on my membership channel on uh, YouTube, we really look at ways of how to work with that steely blue that's going to be part of this cosmic energy. How to help you really move through some of those tough times when life feels painful or your body feels painful. That's going to be a factor um, that may you may experience this June as well. All right, so let's get started. So empowered and brave, inspired to take that next step. Feels good to me. Let's come to the heart center. Really feel your feet on the ground or feel your body on the seat or the bed, however you are most supported right now. And just bring your awareness to this chest center, to this place of the center of your consciousness, the center of your mind, the place of physical connecting, emotional connecting. Breathing in and out in your own rhythm. Inviting that balance between the in-breath and the out breath. Noticing the pause at the top of the in breath, at the bottom of the out breath. This blue vibration of June is gonna really ask some questions of your ability to feel inspired. of your lungs, of your heart. So just this part of this sequence is a beautiful place to come back to regularly during the day. All right. So I want you to take your awareness to groundedness, what that means to you, how you feel when you are grounded. You can pop both of your hands on your thighs 
And as you breathe out, I want you to really visualize the direction of your energy, the direction of your breath, moving all the way down the back, over the buttocks, down the back of the thighs, the calf muscles, into the feet and out through the heels, through the ball of the foot, through the bottom of the toes, really inviting your energy to ground down from that place. You can draw up energy, but only when you have got that good connection through your electrical system. So from here, then just stamp your feet and find your way. It doesn't have to be a, a hard stamp or a big stamp, but as you do so, just help your elbows move, your shoulders, just get that energy moving through your arms, maybe wriggle your wrists. All of this is gonna help your chest ground down, which might seem a funny thing to do, but we really want any excess that's being held in this electromagnetic field of your heart to find its way down this month. The speed of this blue vibration is likely to get all kinds of things wobbling a little. So pick it up and just help ground it all down. All right. Palms together in that prayerful position in front of your sternum, breathing in and really calling that energy in towards your center. And as you breathe out, palms out, we're doing the wings of strength exercise, breathing into the center, palms together, breathing out through your aura, extending the palms. And you're gonna do that in your own way. Moving your arms in any direction, you can go up and down. You're just all the time bringing your hands in as you breathe in and out as you breathe out. <sighs> Clearing that congestion in your energy field, helping your auric membrane bring in the benefits of this cosmic blue but keep out some other things that are not going to serve your emergence, your life, your body right now. And bringing your hands back to the chest, just tune in. How does that feel? What has that done to your groundedness, to your feeling of stability? What's it done to the space around you? Take a few breaths here and just observe how you're feeling right now. Now we're going to do some work through the energetic core, through the Dai G pole. And to do that, the only understanding that you need to have is that at the very center of your entire body system is an amazing, amazing core of energy, your deepest energy, your soul energy. And that it connects through your entire body system to the bottom of your unique energy field, which is beneath your feet. And the, in that central line, that point is the earth star. You can Think of it as a hub of energy, maybe like a chakra or maybe like a dantian, these energy centers that you have in your body. And that at the very top of your personal energy, your energy sphere held in your aura, then there's a sun star. So we're going to be working to connect the earth star and the sun star through the midline, through these amazing energy centers, your dantians, power packed, filled with physical potential, consciousness potential, and supraconscious or connective potential. So we're going to be linking all of those up so that the potential for this month, this blue energy, is going to be expanded, 
embraced and integrated in your system. All right, so we're going to start. I want you to look down at your feet, whether you're sitting, standing or lying. Look down at your feet. And I want you to see, think, feel, visualise, however works for you, the place about three quarters of a metre, two foot, below the soles of your feet. If you're standing or sitting, lying, really take a while to get curious about that point. It may be helpful for you to bring the fingers of your hands together and point them towards that place so that you can know, because it will be happening, that the energy from your fingertips is moving all the way down to that lowest, most beautiful part of your energy field. Getting curious about that earth star even just by taking your attention to it. It's activating more fully in your energy field. If this earth star had a color for you right now, what color is it? What size is it? If I was with you and looking at you, I could tell you what I see or I perceive about your earth star, but what do you perceive about it? And from that place, I want you to bring your fingers up the midline, all the way up to the sun star. So you're going to keep coming up. If for any reason you can't raise your hands above your head, then you can do exactly what you did for your earth star and just point your fingers towards it. But if it's accessible to you to be able to put your hands up like this, then no that as your arms are at that easy extension, then right now, in between the palms of your hands, is your amazing, radiant, magnificent sun star. Make sure you keep breathing. The sun star, when it's active, grounds you the Earth Star, when it's active, grounds you, holds you strong in that place of connectivity to all that is below and all that is above. Get curious about that Sun Star in exactly the same way. What size is it right now? What colour, what vibration does it have? All right. So bring your awareness back to the Earth Star. Point your fingers down towards it. And you're going to do a... You imagine that you're tracing with these amazing energy lasers out of your fingers. You're going to trace a big circle all the way round to your belly button. And crossing your hands over at your belly button. You're going to continue to trace another big circle all the way round to your chin, crossing your hands at your chin, tracing the last big circle all the way up to the sun star. Wow, that feels amazing to me. From there, just bring your fingers all the way down that energetic core, that midline, so that again, you're connecting the energy of your fingertips to that earth star beneath your feet. And from that place, you're gonna repeat those three big circles all the way around to your belly button, crossing over at your belly button, continuing the next circle all the way around to your chin, crossing at the chin repeating that circle all the way up to the sun star. Take a breath here. 
And bring those fingers all the way down the core again. Grounding, aligning, empowering, connecting the bravery of the sun with the deep empowerment of the earth. And we're going to do those three circles one last time. Up from the earth star, crossing over at the belly button, crossing over at the throat, and all the way up to the sun star again. And you take your time, you do it in your speed. Always do these exercises in your speed. Coming back one last time through the energetic core, all the way down. So you're connecting with that earth star. And just relax. Maybe keep your eyes closed, just feel into your body. And we're going to finish with you coming back to exactly where we started. Hands crossed over the heart. Taking a moment of awareness and gratitude for your amazing body. Hmm. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that we get to share the membership video together as well. Bye-bye.